After a journey lasting more than eight months, and after traveling 150 million kilometers, that's as far as from here to the sun, Europe's spacecraft Giotto is at last about to make contact with Comet Halley. Over the past week, scientists from Russia, Japan, and Europe have bombarded the comet with an armada of space probes. But the most dramatic encounter with Halley takes place tonight. We're linked up live to Mission Control in Darmstadt, where scientists have just made the final course correction which will take Giotto to within 500 kilometers of Halley's nucleus, and that's the closest any spacecraft has ever probed into the heart of a comet. Now, on board Giotto is a camera, and that was switched on just over an hour ago, and we've got Patrick Moore waiting in the studio in Germany, and I know that he's hoping soon to bring us those live pictures or later on television tonight. Now, Patrick, how close are we to getting some live pictures? Well, we are getting pictures, all right, and this is a picture of the kind that Giotto is actually sending back now. Uh, mind you, let me stress straight away, those colours are not genuine colours. They merely indicate differences in light intensity, and there's a certain amount of instrumental noise as well. I'm not going to say that particular picture of the comet is very conclusive, but remember, Giotto is still more than a million kilometres away from the nucleus, and uh, just after midnight, at closest approach, that's going to be reduced to only about 540 kilometres. And that's the time, if at all, when we're going to see the nucleus. Whether we will is a still a matter of a debate. Most of the world's leading cometary experts are, are here, and even they are not sure. So we've simply got to wait and see. But the main thing is that the camera is working well. And I was talking just now to Dr. Keller, who's head of the camera team, and he assures me that so far everything is going according to plan. I gather you have just switched on the experiments. You're doing something there. What are you hoping to find out from those? Well, all kinds of things. For example, there's what's called the neutral mass spectrometer, and that's studying the composition and distribution and abundance of neutral gas molecules in the region of the comet. And there's also an ion mass spectrometer, which is studying the distribution of ions that are incomplete atoms. And there are plasma experiments too. And one very interesting one is the energetic particle experiment. That's the Irish one. And that's um, it's monitoring uh, effects of the solar wind upon cometary particles. And in fact, the cometary particles there were detected as early as 10 o'clock last night. And that was much earlier, I think, than anyone had expected. That's most interesting. Well, we're very much looking forward to coming back later tonight at 11 o'clock when we we're going to find out if Giotto will survive and what we can find out about the nucleus of this fascinating comet. Thank you very much indeed.